Well, Gina, anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault should give us a call right now. We have live agents available to answer any questions you have. They'll tell you if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. You heard it, folks. Call now. Tonight on Bulldog Insider, the old oil can stays in San Diego. Fresno State lost its last game of the regular season last night, its third straight loss. We'll discuss. We'll also discuss the volleyball team going to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 21 years. And what happened on this day in Bulldog history? Now, KC24's Bulldog Insider, presented by Fashion Furniture. The Mountain West Championship game is in Las Vegas this year. On Saturday, UNLV will host Boise State. San Jose State beat UNLV yesterday to force a three-way tie for first place in the conference. That left it up to the computers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bulldog Insider. Fresno State beat both UNLV and Boise State this season in back-to-back -back weeks. But the Bulldogs did not beat San Diego State last night. Angelique Martinez was there in San Diego. She joins us now to take us through what happened. Angelique. Andrew, SCSU dominated at the time of possession, and Fresno State's defense just couldn't stop the Aztecs' run game last night. Let's take a look at how it all happened. It's the battle for the old oil can. Fresno State has had possession of it since 2021. Mikey Keene back as the starter for the Dogs last night, and it was Brady Hoke's final game before retirement. First Fresno State possession, Mikey Keene hands the ball off to Malik Sherrod. The junior running back sheds a few tackles, cuts across the field, changing directions, finds his footing, and takes off to the house. The Bulldogs strike first, it's 7-0. A little later on, it's 7-6 Bulldogs in the second quarter after two SDS field goals. Aztec senior QB Jalen Maiden cuts to his left, turns on the Jets, takes it down the sideline for the 70-yard touchdown. San Diego State takes a 13-7 lead over the Bulldogs. At the end of the first half, Dylan Lynch sends a 43-yard field goal through the uprights. Dogs head into halftime, trailing 16-10. To the third quarter now, Jalen Armstead fights his way over the goal line. Aztecs are now on top by 13. Now heading into the fourth quarter, dogs deep in San Diego State territory. Malik Sherrod gets the handoff. He's up the middle for six into the end zone. Fresno State goes for two on this one. Mikey Keene looks for a man, fires it to Jalen Moss up the middle. Bulldogs down eight with 10 minutes left to play. And SDSU tacks on another touchdown in the final three minutes. Aztecs beat Fresno State 33-18 and secure the old oil can. Fresno State finishes the regular season on a three-game losing streak. We're an eight and four football team, okay? And we didn't finish the year as strongly as we would have liked to. And uh, But we have one more opportunity to play together in a bowl game, wherever that may be. You know, but... Uh, I love these kids. They're high character kids. I love the way they work every single day. I love what they stand for. Unfortunately, we, you know, we hit the injury bug at, at the wrong time. A few notes from last night. San Diego State won the old oil can for the first time since 2019. Fresno State lost for the first time this season after scoring first in a game. The Bulldogs were 7-0. And Malik Sherrod had 312 all-purpose yards. That's a new school record for a single game. The regular season is now over for the Bulldogs. They will play in a bowl game next month. We will find out those details next Sunday. Andrew, back to you. Time now for our Ultimate Insider, brought to you by FFB Bank. We're pleased to be joined by Marcus McMarion, Dinuba native and Fresno State quarterback in 2017 and 2018. Marcus, for the second week in a row, Fresno State lost to a three-win team. And the week before that, the Bulldogs got blown out at San Jose State. What has happened to Fresno State? How do you explain these last three losses? You know, it's been difficult. I mean, football's it's really all about kind of peaking at the right time and i think unfortunately for the dogs we might have peaked a little bit early in the season um again i think i was slightly due tedford kind of mentioned it there just running into the injury bug i think that plays such a big factor that kind of goes under the radar until it actually affects your team the bulldogs are eight and four marcus there are a lot of teams in the country that would love to be eight and four right now but not after being eight and one how should people feel about this year's regular season overall yeah, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and obviously everyone's going to kind of express that differently. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's 
I think it's just really important to understand there wasn't too long ago that we were a one-win university. Um, kind of Tedford came in and really changed the culture and really that expectation of, hey, we're a New Year Sex competitor and we win Mountain West championships every year to where I think he kind of brought that culture to our program. So um, I think just embracing we definitely have the right leadership at the helm right now. Let's talk about last night's game. The numbers were there for Malik Sherrod. 312 all-purpose yards. He had 138 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns. The offense only scored 18 points. Third game in a row, the Bulldogs have scored fewer than 20 points in a game. Why do you think that's been the case? Yeah, you know, football is such a team game. I mean, honestly, it's it's easy to kind of point the finger at the offense coordinator and say, man, he's calling terrible plays, or point it at Mikey Keene and say he needs to play better, or point it at... I mean, special teams say we can't punt the ball far. Defense saying they got to get off the field. I think at the end of the day, it kind of just comes down to, I mean, just the camaraderie of the team. I know when I was playing at Fresno State, if I was ever having an off game, I had guys like Juju Hughes or Jeff Allison, guys on the defense coming up to me say, hey, we got you. We're going to get you the ball back. Keep your head up. And um, that's just something I don't know if I see that camaraderie on the sideline. I mean, I hope it's happening. Um, it's something that would definitely help the team. So, Mikey Keene, and you said it's not necessarily just Keene or Pat McCann or anything like that, but Mikey Keene passed for 190 yards against San Diego State. His longest completion was 17 yards. Do you think Fresno State should have thrown the ball downfield more? Yeah, I mean, stretching the ball down the field definitely would have kept the, the defensive backs honest. I know they threw a lot of stop routes that uh, the defense, quite frankly, the DBs were just kind of sitting flat-footed. Um, I know Mac Dillon had quite a few contested just hitch routes and comeback routes that maybe if they were stretching the field a little bit more they wouldn't have been sitting on the routes as much so definitely would have liked them to see him push it down a little bit more but uh brady hoke i mean they run a they run a tricky defense uh i played against them quite a few times um it's it's not the easiest to pass on if you're, if you're a younger quarterback as well we talked last week about time of possession when it heavily favored new mexico last night it heavily favored san diego state the bulldog offense only had the ball for 19 minutes. The Aztec offense, more than 40 minutes. How did that happen again for the Bulldogs? Yeah, it's difficult. Again, I mean, you could say it's the play calling the offense, get on the field and get off the field fast, going three and out quick, and then putting the defense right back on the field in a tough situation. And I was actually just texting one of my former teammates during this game, said, uh, it feels like I'm watching the opposing offense the entire game. Like, I'm not even watching offense, defense kind of going back and forth. I mean, just the past couple games, it's been just really rough to watch. I mean, just kind of as a casual fan watching the game, because it seems like the defense is on the field just about the entire game. The Bulldog offense would have been on the field more had the team been able to convert on third downs last night. Marcus, just one for nine. Why the lack of execution in those situations? Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's really what it comes down to as far as offense. I mean, if, when you convert those third downs, not only does it keep your defense off the field that much longer, but that's kind of how you get the ball rolling offensively to where a lot of it, again, it's just simple football, just kind of keeping yourself ahead of the chains, gaining three or four yards. And I know that's kind of what Tedford's offense always kind of been about. Um, sometimes when you throw the ball in first down and you don't get any yards, it makes it really difficult in that second and 10 versus being, uh, second and six or second and five. So Fresno State's run defense struggled again. The Bulldogs gave up 226 yards on the ground, including a 70-yard touchdown run to Jalen Maiden. What adjustments should have been made from the previous two games? Yeah, you know, if I had that answer, I'd be the defensive coordinator of Fresno State right now. Um, honestly, I can't tell you. I mean, I, just from my perspective and kind of being around the room and being in that position before on the offensive side at least when we're running the ball really well against the defense um i think it's just as simple as it sounds just a mindset and kind of attitude thing and I, and I believe coach said that um as well in one of his press conferences and it almost sounds like a scapegoat answer but i think it's really it's just a mentality i know when we're pounding the ball on offense against a team our offensive line is kind of just getting hungry and anxious about it and saying hey like don't overcomplicate this game plan. We're pushing the line of scrimmage. Let's just run the ball. So I think a lot of it's just a, a mindset thing. Lastly, Marcus, have to ask you about the Mountain West Championship game next Saturday. There was a three-way tie for first place, so it was up to the computers to decide. Boise State at UNLV. Did the computers get it right? Are those the two best teams in the conference? And how should the Bulldogs feel that the two teams playing for the Mountain West Championship are teams that Fresno State beat this season? Yeah, you know, it's difficult when you kind of put it up to chance and to the computer. Um, I unfortunately 
keep it short. You know, I have a history, not not on the good side, being with the computer, going to Boise when we probably should have played at home a few years back. Um, but um, I would say San Jose State might be the hottest team right now. Um, obviously, the computer shifted it to Boise and UNLV. I think it's going to be a good game. And I think it's just a lesson of Fresno State and a lot of those underclassmen, I think, championship caliber team that's not just uh, playing big against the big teams, but kind of playing like a championship team week in and week out, of, even against the teams that aren't as hyped. He's Marcus McMarion, former Fresno State quarterback, Dinuba native. We appreciate the time. We'll talk to you again next week for the last time this season. Thanks, Marcus. Yep, no problem, Andrew. Up next on the Bulldog Insider, the Fresno State volleyball team is headed to the NCAA tournament. We were with the team this afternoon for the selection show. That's next. When it comes to power lift recliners of every size and look imaginable, the one place you'll find more selection than anywhere else is right here at Fashion Furniture. There's a whole section. Simple power recliners in a hundred different colors and fabrics to double reclining leather love seats with a console in between. You'll love the selection of power lift recliners in every price range at Fashion Furniture on El Paso across from River Park. There's nothing like it in all of California. My name is Heiner Oviedo, and this is my FFB story. When I began playing at the age of seven, it opened the door to a world of opportunities. It became our goal to give those same opportunities to the Fresno community. That's where FFB Bank came in. They were able to work with our needs and finance our projects when other banks wouldn't. With the bank's help, we have been able to bring more music into homes and change more lives. And to work with a bank that truly wants to see its customers and its community thrive, well, that's music to my ears. We're for the fashion forward and budget minded. We've got the brands that set you apart and the style to make you stand out. The looks that let you shine. We're for the dreamers, the doers, the savers, and all those who love a grand tradition. Make a memory with Santa. Drop off your gifts for wrapping and take a shopping break at one of our delicious restaurants and eateries. And don't forget to stuff those stockings with Tulare Outlets gift cards. Tulare Outlets, where you'll find the perfect gifts for all the special people on your holiday shopping list. Visit TulareOutletCenter.com for store sales. At Valley Remnants and Rolls, you'll find an impressive selection of beautiful new carpet from all the major mills. But VRR is more than carpet. It's hardwood, all kinds of laminate, the new VRR luxury vinyl, and half-price room size remnants every day. Plus, area rugs, and now concrete coatings for indoor and outdoor applications with store-wide everyday discounts of 20 to 50%. Why not make it new again at VRR Flooring, Valley Remnants and Rolls. KC24 News is brought to you in part by Fresno Unified School District. Back here on the Bulldog Insider, Derek Carr cleared the NFL's concussion protocol this week, and he started for the Saints today against the Falcons. <laughs> Time now for On the Turf, brought to you by California Turf and Landscaping, Bulldogs in the NFL. Derek Carr threw for more than 300 yards today, but he had no touchdowns and one interception that was a touchdown for the Falcons. A pick six when the Saints were on the 12-yard line. Atlanta wins 24-15, dropping New Orleans to 5-6 and six this season. Yeah, penalties and turnovers. Um, you know, we had the pick, we had, had a fumble, and then it seemed like every time we got down there, we had some kind of penalty. And it's hard to overcome those. Here are the numbers. We'll go alphabetically, as we always do. Devontae Adams, five catches for 73 yards today for the Raiders in their loss to the Chiefs. Carr was 24 of 38 for 304 yards and one interception. And on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, Deron Bland led the Cowboys with 10 tackles. He also had his fifth pick six of the season, which set a new NFL record. The Fresno State volleyball team is heading to the NCAA tournament. We knew that on Friday. Today, we learned the Bulldogs are heading to Stanford. They gathered on campus to watch the NCAA selection show, and they cheered when their name was shown on the screen. Fresno State won the Mountain West Volleyball Championship on Friday in Las Vegas. That earned them the conference's automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. They are making their first NCAA tournament appearance since 2002, fifth appearance all time in school history. 
Fresno State is 19 and 13 overall. Stanford, 26 and 3 overall, and one of the four number one seeds in the tournament. Here's Scott Bemis with the head coach. All right, here with uh, Lisa Rosen, the head coach of the Fresno State women's volleyball team, off to the NCAA tournament this week. All right, you see your name up there on the screen. What's your first reaction? Just pride, prideful. I mean, I'm very, and, and I'm very happy for the girls. And this program, you know, I mean, we've worked really, really hard, especially this season, um, to get where we're at. How big an opportunity is this for, for your program? Oh, I think it's huge. I think it's it's huge. It's, it's the kind of the stepping stone or the starting point of this team becoming a regular occurring um, contender in in the tournament. You know, I think the first the first step is, is you have to get there, you know, and then there'll be some butterflies, there'll be some nerves, but the good thing is I've had a lot of NCAA experience with the tournament, and so, you know, being able to guide them through that and lead them through that, I think it's going to be a big deal with that, but um, I just think it's great. You know, it's, it's a really good opportunity. It's a, a perfect opportunity for this group to grow. And how much could this opportunity be a springboard for this program in general when it comes to recruiting and the future? Oh, for sure. I mean, and and these guys are the ones that have started that, and that's really special to me. You know, they bought into everything that we have been trying to accomplish um, since we started in January, and now they're going to know that, you know, Grace and Molly and Hannah are the three seniors that we have. They're going to know that they started kind of a legacy, and that's a big deal. All right, before you take the floor on Friday night, finally, what's going to be the final words to your team? Um, uh, that's between us. <laughs> Give me a general thought on what you might say. That we're going to stay competitive, that we want to make sure that we're disciplined and that we're aggressive. I like it. Lisa's not giving away any of her secrets at that point. Yeah, head coach of the Fresno State women's volleyball team. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Up next on the Bulldog Insider, what happened on this day in Bulldog history? That's next. One of the great things about being the largest locally owned furniture store in the Valley is you often get first choice on manufacturer closeouts. Like this limited time offer from Southern Motion. Two different rocker recliners, one in four colors, another in two colors, with over 70 to choose from, each priced at 30% below the normal retail value. $4.99 at Fashion Furniture, while they last, on El Paso, across from River Park. I made the right choice to become a correctional officer for the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. I'm proud of my role in protecting my community. The training was tough, yes, but now I'm prepared for anything. We get great pay, benefits, and more. It's a very challenging and fulfilling career. I work every day with great professionals. The bond with my fellow officers is strong. It's like a second family. If you're ready for a career in law enforcement with local impact, contact the Fresno County Sheriff's Office and join. 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 Join our family. Look like a holiday shopping showdown, but it's a Nissan sales event to add. Good thing my Rogue has intelligent all-wheel drive. So does my Altima. Get 2.9% financing for 60 months on Rogue, plus get up to $1,000 holiday bonus cash on popular models. Better hurry, these offers won't be back in stock. At Lewis Diamond Company, our family values and traditions have been polished over time. Because while some things change, the things that really matter shouldn't. Authenticity, integrity, commitment. We've been doing the things that matter the same way since 1945. And we're honored to share in your family's traditions. We know that wherever family is involved, timeless connections will follow. Lewis Diamond Company, your trusted family jeweler. At California Turf and Landscaping, we know the picture of your yard says a thousand words. Our team has years of experience in design and installation of synthetic grass, drought-tolerant landscaping, irrigation, hardscape, and all things for outdoor living. California Turf and Landscaping takes water conservation to a new level, mixing beauty and functionality. We work with you to create your vision. California Turf and Landscaping, commercial and residential. The complete package for all your landscaping needs. KC24 News is brought to you in part by Central Floor Supply. Welcome back to the Bulldog Insider. Ryan Matthews holds the Fresno State record for most rushing touchdowns in a season. He had 19 in 2009. 
Jordan Mims had 18 last year, so he is second all time in that category. Tied for fifth are two running backs, Wendell Mathis and Reggie Brown, who finished the 1994 season off strong on this day in Bulldog history. Brought to you by Precision Civil Engineering. The date was November 26th, 1994. The place, San Diego, California, Jack Murphy Stadium. Fresno State played at San Diego State in the last game of the regular season that year. The Bulldogs were on a five-game winless streak, four losses, and a tie to UTEP. They were in the middle of their first losing season since 1981, but they ended the year on a win, 49-42, behind 161 rushing yards and four total touchdowns from Reggie Brown. Three rushing, one receiving. Reggie Brown was not the Bulldogs' leading rusher in 1994. That would be Jerome Oliver. But Oliver, who saw more playing time when Michael Pittman got hurt, got hurt himself in that game against the Aztecs. He sprained his right shoulder in the second quarter, which opened the door for Brown. Reggie Brown's touchdowns came on runs of 3 yards, 38 yards, and 8 yards. His receiving touchdown was from 4 yards out. Reggie Brown came to Fresno State after playing two seasons at College of the Desert in Palm Desert. We'll be right back. Home office. It started a few years ago at the kitchen table. Then many of us turned our third bedrooms into functional workspace with every kind of technology imaginable. The home office selection at Fresno's Fashion Furniture, including the most beautiful desks, chairs, file cabinets, and accessories available. Check out the home office selection at Fresno's Fashion Furniture. There's nothing like it in all of California. Experience some of the greatest planes in history up close and in person at Castle Air Museum. Find the perfect gift for the aviation lover in your family. Our gift shop carries a wide selection of aviation apparel, toys, books, mugs, display models, and much more. Don't forget, it's the season of giving, and your charitable donations are tax deductible, going towards a good cause. Make a visit to Castle Air Museum and come be amazed. We do a lot here. A little bit of this. And a whole lot of that. And after more than 20 years in the valley, we ain't slowing down. It's something else when you can say, we did that. But it's something else entirely when you mean, we did that. So here's to many more. And continuing to say proudly, we did that. We have the following openings available. Contact us today. Newport Carnitas, only at El Pollo Loco. Julie hates paper cuts. 278 days since the last paper cut around here. Are you crazy? Mikey doesn't need a paper cut before camp. Do we go out of our way to protect our people? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's what happens when you care a lot. Get the inside scoop with our Ultimate Insider. We're talking Fresno State football with recaps and analysis by former quarterback Marcus McMarion. Talk gridiron all season long, every Sunday at 9.30, right here on KC24's Bulldog Insider. Brought to you by FFB Bank. <laughs> $24. Now celebrating at El Pollo Loco. KC24 News is brought to you in part by FFB Bank. Welcome back to the Bulldog Insider. Time now for our play of the week. It's brought to you by the Good Feet Store. And for that, we go back to Thursday. Thanksgiving Day, the Cowboys against the Commanders. Deron Bland with his fifth pick six of the season to set a new NFL single season record. Our tweet of the week brought to you by Nissan. Also about Deron Bland. It's from LeBron James. A lot of emojis. The first one is a saluting face. We'll be right back. 
One of the great things about being the largest locally owned furniture store in the Valley is you often get first choice on manufacturer closeouts. Like this limited time offer from Southern Motion. Two different rocker recliners, one in four colors, another in two colors, with over 70 to choose from, each priced at 30% below the normal retail value. $4.99 at Fashion Furniture, while they last, on El Paso, across from River Park. Air quality in the San Joaquin Valley is getting better. However, due to our unique challenges, there's still work to be done. You can help pay attention to air quality and protect yourself when it's poor. During the winter, residential fireplaces are one of the biggest causes of air pollution. Choose not to use your wood-burning fireplace, stove, or outdoor fire pit. You can help improve your health and your neighbors by caring about our air. For more information, visit valleyair.org. The faces of confusion and despair. Young and old forced out of their homes and towns and churches after centuries. Thousands of Armenian families leave their beloved Artsakh. Refugees flee hostility in search of a new life. And though they won't say it, they could use help. Join the Fresno Medical Mission. We must provide them hope. Hope for the future. With full transparency, we will find the new settlers a home. Tis the season, and Santa knows where to find the floors your home has been dreaming of. At Central Floor Supply, we can get your home holiday ready. Our showroom is filled with name brand waterproof flooring and luxurious carpet. Like our Mohawk Revwood Select with a lifetime all pet warranty. Before you go to the big box stores, check us out first. Come visit our beautiful new showroom at Ashland and Fresno Street. Save time, save money, and save the headaches, and see why Santa says... KC24 News is brought to you by Boz Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center. A reminder, you can always watch segments from the show online at yourcentralvalley.com. Whether you missed them the first time or like them so much you want to watch them again, the website is yourcentralvalley.com. Bulldog basketball. The men played in Mexico this past week. They beat New Mexico State in overtime, then lost the 22nd-ranked James Madison. They host UCSB tomorrow. The Bulldog women played three games this past week. They went two and one. Their next game is on Wednesday at home against Portland State. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Sunday. Good night. small. Eat that big, oh my, Carl's Cali Classic Char Broiled Burger flavor. In a full meal combo with small fries and a drink for just $5.99. Big, small, win, win. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or just announced just in time for Black Friday. Get 6,000 purchase allowance on select 2023 Sierra models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Yeah! If you can't resist the flavor of the Carl's Jr. guacamole bacon burger, charbroiled beef, crispy bacon, and lots of house-made guacamole, it's okay. Everyone gives in to the guac. Free guacamole bacon burger with new My Rewards yeah! sign-up. At Lewis Diamond Company, our family values and traditions have been polished over time. Because while some things change, the things that really matter shouldn't. Authenticity, integrity, commitment. We've been doing the things that matter the same way since 1945. And we're honored to share in your family's traditions. We know that wherever family is involved, timeless connections will follow. Lewis Diamond Company, your trusted family jeweler. Thank <laughs> you.
Emergency room overcrowding is more than inconvenient. It's a medical crisis. Skip hours of wait time and delayed treatment. Premium Urgent Care provides general health services and immediate care at multiple Valley locations. With on-site lab tests and x-rays, you won't have to wait for testing or treatment. To further reduce wait time, use the convenient online check-in. Sprains or sore throats, cuts or coughs. Premium Urgent Care takes care of it all and accepts a number of health insurance providers. Get affordable, quality care at Premium Urgent Care. Hi, it's Drew. Thank you for spending your weekdays at 4 with Drew Barrymore. Right here on KC24. I love you, Central Valley. I'm Lester Holt. Tonight on...